Hello everyone, welcome to serverless learning plan. Today, we are going to build up the backend for our serverless application hosting. If you are new to this learning, kindly do check out the first part of this series where we have built up the front end of our serverless web application using S3 and a CloudFront distribution. In the second part today, we will build two Lambda functions and one central DynamoDB table. One Lambda will get the data out of the DynamoDB table and will show us the data and other one will insert the data into DynamoDB table. In the next and final part, we will integrate both frontend and backend that is coming on next Wednesday. If you are new to this channel, kindly do subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Otherwise, like, comment, share and enjoy this video. So let's go and build our serverless backend. Welcome to the part two of serverless web application hosting. So in this part, we will create our backend. So in our backend, uh, what it consists is it consists of a database, central DynamoDB database, which is serverless hosting. And to query the database, we will create two Lambda. One Lambda to insert um, uh, into the DynamoDB table and the other Lambda to fetch data from the DynamoDB table. So if you are wondering about the first part, in the first part, please check out my first video, part one of serverless web application hosting, where we have hosted one dynamic web application with our S3 bucket and CloudFront in front of it. So the, this is the part one, please check out the video. And today we are going to implement part two, that is the backend of our serverless web application. In part three, that is the coming video, we will integrate our front end and back end with API gateway. So that is coming later. So let's concentrate on the you know, this one where we will be creating two Lambda function, one to insert data into DynamoDB and one to get out the data uh, from DynamoDB table. So I hope you will enjoy this video. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe my channel if you are new to this one. Uh, and so let's go and create the DynamoDB and our whole backend infrastructure. So I am inside my DynamoDB console. I am selecting Frankfurt region for this one. And in DynamoDB console, we have a create table option. So we will click this one and we have to give one create. Uh, we have to uh, give a table name. So for this, I will give maybe this table name as employee profile. And then we have to give one partition key. So partition key in DynamoDB table is kind of a primary key. So partition key is kind of primary key of a DynamoDB table. And we can give sort key, but right now we don't, uh, we will not give sort key. So uh, partition key and sort key makes a unique key in DynamoDB table. So for partition key, we will give employee ID as the uh, partition key. So let me check our script. So if you remember from first part, so this script will try to uh, enter data into our DynamoDB table, right? This this script will call our API gateway, which is not yet there. And this script will uh, uh, try to uh, call this Lambda functions. The API gateway will call Lambda function and that will insert the data into DynamoDB table. So I will somehow uh, keep this column name as it is in our script so that there is no confusion. Uh, so I will give the partition key as employee ID. And after that, I will not change anything. Everything will be by default. Only thing I will give is tag. We can give the tag as owner and the value as my channel name and create table. So DynamiDB uh, table creation will uh, take some time. So in between what we can do uh, we can create our two lambda functions. So let's go to our lambda console and create two lambda function. So here is my lambda uh, console and same uh, region. I am in, uh, using the Frankfurt region and I will create the first function. So the first function is get employee. So to query our employee data from our database and I will select Python and on the Apart from that, I will only change the execution role. I have already created one role uh, called uh, Lambda role. You can create the role of your own. Uh, just uh, ensure that it has DynamoDB uh, access permission or it has DynamoDB write and read permission. So this role I have already created. So I will select this one and I will create the function. 
and right now this is an empty function and we, we see that there is no code so let me paste some code here for this get employee function okay so i have pasted the code uh, so this says that it, it is creating one dynamodb resource of uh, this region uh, in this particular region and then it is uh, creating the table dynamodb table uh, it is creating one instance of dynamodb table and the response is kind of the table dot scan that means it's scanning the table for the value and in the data uh, from the response we are taking the items which will consist all the data and in the print uh, we are giving one print statement but you know what uh, we don't need it so this is what and then the while the last evaluated key that means we are paginating the resource if we if you have 500 kind of data or 1000 data then this will paginate to the last one and it will extend um, uh, it will append the uh, data to our uh, data dictionary here and it will return the data so this is very simple uh, for scanning dynamodb table uh, we are we are using boto3 library for this and this scan is very useful uh, and whenever you require to do any kind of dynamodb read function or scan function you can just use this utilize this one and take all the data uh, out uh, in boto3 library we have another um, couple of uh, other functions to query dynamodb table as per your need uh, we can create customs query and create and uh, query dynamo dynamodb table but right now we don't need that because uh, all we have um, is this four column and from this four column uh, we will just retrieve all the data so that's it and i will deploy this function and right now if we run this one it will get kind of null value uh, let's run this one once at least we can check that uh, so first let's check if our table is up or not okay our table is up and so what we will do we will for testing purpose it will anyway return null value and but uh, let's see if our function is okay or not so our function is okay, uh, run is fine, uh, lambda did not uh, return any kind of error, that means our function is okay. So this is for our getting the employee. We need another function, if you remember the uh, keynote here, we need another function to insert the data into Dynamo, uh, DynamoDB table. So let's create another lambda function to insert the data. We again go to function and create function and right now I will give insert employee data this name and i will also select this python 3.9 and the execution role i will select this lambda role that i have created please do remember when you are creating this insert employee data function please uh, please please check that mm, your role uh, lambda role ma uh, have right permission to dynamo detail so i will create the function and for this function we need some code so let's give it some code so this is our code this is our lambda code to insert uh, into dynamodb what we are uh, doing is uh, same uh, we are creating one boto3 resource uh, using dynamodb and we are creating dynamodb table uh, client and then we are giving the same table name employee profile this is our table name and in the lambda handler this is kind of we are defining as global variable and then in the lambda handler we are actually taking the first name from the event uh, this will come from API gateway uh, which we currently don't have in our part 3 video we will have that uh, in ID uh, we have event uh, from employee ID we are taking from the event uh, employee last name we are taking from also the event and we age we are taking from the event and after we take everything uh, we are creating one response uh, we are getting the response uh, while giving this table dot put item and this put item actually takes this item value and inside this item value we can specify the column names and their value so the column name is employee id employee age first name last name and the value is kind of that we got from event so very simple uh, what we can do here is we can deploy this one now after save and deploying this function what we can do is we can try to uh, insert some data into dynamodb table uh, so right now let's see uh, let's go inside this dynamodb table and explore table items and we see that if we run the scan for whole table we see that uh, no item is there because we did not insert anything what we can do is we can create one test event for this insert lambda function insert employee function and we can see if it is working or not so to test it uh, we just copy this one and maybe create a test event just create a test event but we have to here 
we have to give one event, uh, particular event uh, value because it is not coming from uh, API gateway. So this is the event uh, that we will try to pass. So whenever we will trigger this function, uh, this event will be passed as well uh, with the function and uh, from the function code, if we remember, uh, this will try to grab the employee ID, age, first name, last name, and it will try to enter into DynamoDB. So uh, I will save this one, this event, and so my event is saved uh, here the test event is saved and i will try to test it so let's uh, let's uh, test it so we see here that it got uh, status code 200 and the body is hello from lambda i did not change this one this is a uh, default one uh, so let's try to see and if it is entered data into a dynamo db table because i see it is entered because i see that hello from lambda alex is there and we have printed the first name here alex anyway let's go to dynamo db table here and run the scan and here we see that our first data is entered uh, the employee id is 001 employee age is 34 alex and hall employee last name so this is this is very fun uh, working with dynamo db table and lambda you don't have to specify or you don't have to insert the column name uh, priority wise uh, you can just give whatever column you want um, uh, into the uh, boto3 library or in the lambda function and it will enter uh, whatever uh, you want only thing is you have to specify the primary key otherwise it will not enter so that's it so we can see that our event is triggered and it is uh, it is generated one uh, data into dynamodb table so in this particular part two video, uh, we have what we have done. Uh, we have created two lambda function. Uh, we have our two lambda function here. Uh, if we go to function, uh, one is for getting employee and another is for inserting data um, into employee. Uh, that is this one, inserting data and getting employee. And we also have created one DynamoDB table uh, that is also here. This one DynamoDB table and inside this DynamoDB table right now, uh, we have one item. Uh, this employee ID uh, one with age and first name and last name. So this is the part two of this uh, serverless application hosting uh, where we have hosted uh, two Lambda function and one DynamoDB table, uh, which is kind of a serverless uh, uh, function. Uh, and in the third part or in the final part of our serverless hosting mm, about uh, web application, we will, we will integrate our front end and our back end with API gateway. So this API gateway will be in between from our front end and our back end and it, it will serve the request from front end and it will serve it to Lambda function and insert the data into DB. And then when the user try to get out of the data or it user tries to get the employee details, it will also serve the same purpose here. Uh, it will try to grab the Lambda, it will try to query the Lambda, grab the data out of this DynamoDB table and then it will show it to a user. So this is uh, that 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 we will discuss in uh, part two, uh, part three of our video, uh, which is the final video uh, for with our API gateway. So in this short video, I hope you like this video and enjoy uh, this one and gain some knowledge out of it. So if you uh, really like this uh, video, uh, kindly do like, share, and subscribe my channel. Um, and if you feel like uh, you want to do something else uh, or something else can be done here. Please let me know in the comment section uh, what do you feel about this one. Uh, I will be back uh, with our third and final part where we will integrate our uh, front end and back end together. And uh, then uh, this will be a complete uh, uh, web application serverless hosting. Uh, so till then, uh, take care, bye bye and see you again. Mm -hmm.